Hey, how you doing? This is John and welcome to John's Long Box. We're up to the next box. Here we got Blood Queen, our Dynamite Comics. Look at that cover. Bought it for the cheesecake, stayed for the story. It was, you know, surprisingly good. Bloodstone, is Ezra Bloodstone, like a horror deep Marvel comic. He's dead and now his daughter takes over. Surprisingly good. And then look at these old blue beetles, the giant mummy who is not dead. Look at these. These are phenomenal. Just great. You cannot escape me. You are doomed. Mr. Thunderbolt. The praying mantis man. I love I, I, I love that. Run, Juanita. I cannot stop this thing. The Red Knight. The Scorpion. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. Mentor the Magnificent. Magno Man. The Praying Mantis Man, Back for Revenge. The Eye of Horus. And then, yes, the first appearance of Ted Cord as the Blue Beetle. I should showcase this. The Blue Beetle bugs the squids. The Mad Men, beating up some hippies. Or, more appropriately, Beatniks. Beatniks. I don't know, which one do you hate more, Beatniks or... or, or, or uh, hippies and then this is where i discovered the blue beetle just always love these comics paris collins artwork just so i you know i'm not gonna so this this was a run that came out during the crisis on infinite earths and i have to say when paris collins left the, uh, the series didn't last too much longer and then this is an, the next series jamie reyes blue beetle which wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, you know. Turned out to be surprisingly good. I think I got most of it, and then I stopped. And then Blue Book. Oh, that's it always scares me when that happens. The Blue Bulleteer. The Blue Bombshell. I put it in the wrong spot in the last box. So now, and now we got the Blue Devil. More Paris Collins. Just a phenomenal artist. Phenomenal artist. I love Paris Collins. Blue Devil, Blue Devil, Blue Devil, Blue Devil, and here's the annual. Then we got Bob Hope, Bob Lincoln for Gazy. Two copies, number one, two copies, number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two copies of number nine, the Halloween issue, ten. And 12 is my last issue. So if anybody knows where I can get 13. The body doubles, cheesecake, bolt, bolt, and now bone. And this bothers me because I thought I had the first printing, but that's the seventh printing. So this is all the cartoon books, which is their, you know, Jeff Smith's company. And then, you know, these are so good. You see, I'm missing some because I got the image comics. When I started getting bone, I got them at Image, so I didn't know that Cartoon Books was where it's at. It was like two, two, two turntables and a microphone. But, uh, so I got the, and then it went back to Cartoon Books. So I got the, uh, the Image comics thinking, oh, wow, I got them right off the shelf. I thought I had the first printing. And now they're like really unaffordable. So here, you know, here's the, uh, the Image comics. And then I went back and got the Cartoon comics. Bone, I really love, guys. I really love it. Can't recommend it enough. Bomb Queen. I got these Bomb Queen. It's she's like she's so bad. Like she's she is like worse than the boys, and it, it hurts my stomach when I read it. It's really really gross. Okay, Books of Fate. This is back when DC was extreme. So Doctor Fate, you know, he had his helmet and amulet melted down into like a a, a sword, and this guy kept carried him around, and you know he was like the pu magical Punisher. Uh, I don't know. There's a reason why this classic heroes last for 40, 50 years. So that's the next book. All right, I'll see you. Bye-bye.